Two pieces of video you saw from the uh, DOT cam and from the video sent in by the viewer all tracks this line right here. So I put the dots together instead of just a line because I think this thing was kind of skipping along and at points as we were tracking before it became severe, I, during the early part of our evening coverage, I said, hey folks, we've got some reports that they saw, multiple people saw a funnel cloud as it was getting closer to Green Cove Springs. The difference between a funnel cloud or a pendulum cloud and a tornado is actual contact to the ground. Then by the time it got closer, to um, areas over around, what is that, uh, Russell Sampson and getting out into the, um, uh, between Bayard and Greenland here, uh, Bartram Springs area, we had another report of the funnel clouds, but then that changed to also include the possible tornado. Then as folks started to look around in this area, they saw some damage. And here's the really interesting part here. So if we continue this line, look at what spurs off right here as you get to the north of Bayard and Grand Street. So this is the 9B interchange. It correlates with the video. It correlates with the timeline. And now we have something that shows, you know, we call it a water spout, but that is an inland box body of water. It's a retention pond, so that would be classified as a tornado, and I think that we can easily connect the dots there from what started as a funnel cloud in Green Cove Springs and then briefly became tornadic, even with some damage, as we showed you there in areas around Nakata under that strong thunderstorm.